This is from one of my good friends, Dr. Shagru. And you see here another falsine meningioma, an anterior fossa, big tumor. This tumor is causing symptoms. This tumor is way bigger than 2.5 centimeters. This tumor cannot be treated with watching. This tumor cannot be treated with radiation. This tumor needs to be treated with surgery. And this is the patient's visual field where that you can see that the patient's already having a visual impact, okay? This is not a bitemporal hemianopsia, by the way. That's what you expect with a pituitary lesion, right? This is a binasal impact. And what happened to this patient is over time, the patient presented with complete right vision loss. And so we took the patient to surgery and this is the uh, MRI after tumor resection. You know, tumor surgeons, we have to show these pictures. It's like our, it's like we go hunting and oh, I, I, I've actually never gone hunting. I've actually never fired a gun. So that's the wrong analogy, but you know, trophies, this is the trophy. See the tumor, the tumor's resected, voila. But what's really cool here is the patient's vision improved, okay? We didn't go back to perfect, but what you see here is that the patient's vision was completely out before surgery. And when you remove a tumor like that and you take the pressure off the brain and the optic apparatus, you can make the vision better. That symptoms can be improved with surgical interventions. Usually symptoms cannot be improved with radiation. You're taking the patient where they're at and keeping them where they're at. And going blind in one eye is usually not the best option. This is a, a image from a paper from my friend, John Chi, who's at Harvard Brigham as well. And here you can see a small tumor right here in C1, but you see there's edema, T2 edema. See these T2, the gray matter is lighter, the white matter is black. And here on this imaging, this flare imaging, fluid attenuated inverse uh, sequence, you can see that the, this tumor is surrounded by white. Okay, it's not surrounded by white here on the T1 with contrast, but on the flare imaging, there's peritumoral edema. This is a much larger tumor, and there's also much more substantial peritumoral edema. If you have a lot of swelling around the tumor, that's a much more indicative sign that you need surgery. It's not a sign that radi radio surgery or radiation cannot work, but it's less ideal. And here you can see more examples of peritumoral edema. What they found in this paper by Dr. Uh, John Chi is that patients' visual outcomes, they could be improved with surgery, and that this varied based on size and peritumoral uh, edema. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.